So, this week, I want to talk about symbols. It just has occurred to me over the past few years that, as a society, we have become obsessed with symbols. I'm going to go ahead and start from when this whole thing started blowing up with the flag. When there was a chorus of outrage over whether we should stand for the flag or not. I get it. You love your country. You stand for the flag proudly with your hand over your heart. And you feel that if you love this country this much, every American should love the country as much as you do. As you do. But the problem is it doesn't really come down to how much you love the country. You can love the country and everything is done for you. You can support the troops. You can support all the sacrifices that made that were made for you to be where you're at today. And you can still hold your country accountable for things you don't agree with. And the fact that those things were never fully vetted out. Now, this is a thinking exercise that I'm asking you to work with me on. Because we have been ingrained to believe that the United States of America is the greatest country on the planet. There are many points to this that I can't and I simply won't argue with it. But there's also something to be said that the United States of America, we can be better. That we can be better than this. We can't just jump to our symbols of our flag and our patriotism and think that's what makes America great. It's the people that make America great. What's happened over the years is that not everybody in the United States of America has gotten a fair shake. And this um, goes beyond simply expecting to have a million dollars in your bank account. It's about people just trying to live and the way they watch their mother and father scrape and crawl and their grandpa, their grandparents getting beat down in the streets and they still went out and fought for this country this is what I'm talking about here, this is what the conversation is about simply standing up for the flag isn't a black and white issue now as grievances as I'd have with this country, I'm still going to do it every time. But I can't sit there and look someone else in the eye and be like, you have to do this. This isn't North Korea. This isn't China. We, we don't want a mandate on what you have to do to show your patriotism. Your patriotism is something personal. Personally, I believe a patriot is someone who challenges the government, someone who challenges the status quo. Simply running around and waving the flag doesn't make you a patriot. It's what you do for your country that makes you a patriot. Now, moving on to part two with the statues. Every society thinks that what makes them great is the statues they leave behind. So, let me jump on to a thinking exercise with you again with this. So, when the White House was burned down, if the British would have erected a statue, would that statue be history? Absolutely not. That statue would have been torn down the minute that we got this whole thing back up and running again. So, with the Confederate statues, I, I, could, I could sort of see the point if those statues were placed there during the Civil War and they were there for over 100 years. But the statues in question were um, put there during an age of racial unrest to prove a point that they were still in charge. Are they really history? Should we be, be should we be celebrating um, breaking away from the government and should that be what, what should that be what we're celebrating here? <sighs> These are all. This isn't an easy topic to talk about. I'm not expecting a black and white answer, a right and wrong. It's simply asking people to think, to think beyond simply seeing a statue and saying that's history, or simply seeing the flag and saying that you stood up for the flag, put your hand over your heart, you're a patriot. It's more work than that. Having our system of, of government, the way we live um, beyond the year 2020, is going to take work. Because if we simply ignore the people who say, hey, there's something wrong with this, 
it's not going to work. There's going to be more civil unrest and we're not going to make it. So what I want you to take from this is to simply understand that not everybody has the same experience as you. Not everybody feels the same way about everything as you. So if you see someone not standing up for the flag, simply ask, hey, more to stand up for the flag. And they'll, they'll be glad to give you a response in education. But simply attacking them, China style or North Korea style for not standing up to the flag and being a so-called patriot is not the answer. It's just causing more problems. So let's talk about it. Let's work on it. Let's make this a country where everybody feels like they're a part of it. That's what it all comes down to. My name is Kalfani King. Thank you for watching my Jeep chat.